So it's time to talk about another uh, solanium type of... Is it solanium or solanum? I don't know. Uh, species, that means it's related to tomatoes, eggplants, nightshades, pinot melons, lulo, and a bunch of other things. This was kindly sent to me by Matt. Matt, thank you. These are Zimbalo melons. Very cool looking thing. You can see how it's got like that variegated skin to it. They're very small, you know, uh, much smaller than your typical tomato, maybe the size of like a cherry tomato. These things have been compared to uh, pepino melons, which I guess it looks a lot like a pepino melon. Those are also in the, the same um, genus, so maybe it tastes a little bit like that. I have no idea. Now, I'm not too sure if I should be eating the skin or not, so I'm going to start without doing that and just like eat uh, the inside of a wedge. Wow! Wow, that is tart. Whoa! That's good, though. There are a lot of flavors in there. A ton of flavors. Um, I've heard it's difficult to tell when these things are ripe. So, uh, from the outside, they look, I mean, they're green, and they are kind of, like, hard. So, I'm not sure if these are perfectly ripe, but... Um, they taste fine. They don't taste like they're like they're green or um, uh, they're not like especially like astringent or anything. They do give like a little bit of like a dusty feel on the tip of my tongue, but not like dry mouth. First off, let's break it down because everybody loves the rating scale. Scale of one to ten, where ten is a lemon, this is high. This is not a lemon, but I put it at like an eight. The sweetness is weird because it doesn't taste like sugar kind of sweetness. It's got a flavor that's kind of like sweet and low. Like artificial sugars have like kind of like almost like a little overly sweet kind of flavor to it. it tastes a little bit like that. Around the sweetness of like an apple, maybe a little bit less than that, but I'd say maybe around a five. And the flavor, there's a lot in there. But tomatoes, Melons, watermelons, pepinos, cucumbers, something else in there. Like a cherry taste. Yeah, totally does. Like a tart cherry. So tart cherry. I wouldn't eat this straight out of hand. I think that it's a little too strong for that. It's a little too, a little too much punch to it for that. But this would be really good um, to cook with, or maybe even pickle it. Well, let me see if I can eat the outer rind um, before we start getting crazy and talking about pickling it. Yeah, rind's fine. I'm guessing it's not going to kill me. It's maybe a little bit bitter but uh, doesn't have much flavor. So if that uh, rind is edible, didn't bother to check, I probably should have. Um, <laughs> but if that rind is edible, then uh, pickling it would be really interesting because they're crunchy. Making a jam out of this would be nuts. That would be like a very complicated like tomato jam or like a chutney would be really good with this thing. Yeah, if I were to like make like a jam with this and like onions or something, that'd be pretty killer. Or like cut it up and put it in a salad would be really good. To use it in place of tomatoes um, would add almost like, uh, you wouldn't even need like dressing because it has so much flavor in it. Uh, or make a sauce out of it. This is something I could see actually using uh, for quite a lot. It's got a lot of flavor to it. And it's got a very interesting flavor that has like a nice like sweet and savory thing going on. Here I'm at the Fig Tree Market. And I found some grown in Kenya, some balos, which are related to the pino melons. These ones are like pretty big. The one I had before was like a golf ball size. This one's like the size of like a tangerine. So they do get bigger. So we've got the pino melon, the large one here. The guy was kind enough to peel it for me. 
and also the Zimbalo on the inside. They also look about the same when they're peeled. Excuse the very rudimentary um, filming tactics here, doing a vlog style, because uh, I'm in a market in Kenya, and uh, this place is not exactly known for being safe to walk around with valuables. So uh, holding on to this camera tight, guys. So I'm gonna try the pepino first, just to see what it's like. Haven't had it in a while. This one's a little underripe, so it tastes kind of like a cucumber. A little bit like unripe melon. It's pretty good though. It's very refreshing. Feels like a nice like sweet little tomatoey cucumber. These are actually more. These are actually related to tomatoes. They're solanum species. They're not related to cucumbers. A lot of people think that they are. Uh, not related to melons either. Tomatoes. Wouldn't, wouldn't really imagine that, but like when you eat it and you think tomatoes, you kind of get that little savory, uh, hearty flavor that tomatoes have. All right, next, Zimbalo. Let's see how it compares. All right, that's attractive. Whoa, very seedy. Look at all those seeds. It's bitter. Tastes very similar, but not as sweet. A little more bitter. Less tomato flavor. It's not bad, but a little bit more like a vegetable. And this is a little bit more like a fruit. Now both of these, I believe, are a little underripe. But that's how they eat them here. So that's what you get. Prefer the pepino. But the zimbalos are not without their merit. I would use this more for a vegetable application. And I use this where if you want something, this could be in either vegetable or sweet application. This could be in a fruit salad and a regular salad. This one, just a regular salad. That's kind of what I get with these two. Uh, it might be a little bit different if they ripen a little further, but uh, as they are, perfectly fine eating out of hand, but um, definitely more of a preference for this one if you're going to do it that way. All right, guys, I think I've pushed my luck enough, so see you next time. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But guys, I will see you next time. Take care.